you are tuned into the radio show on tonight. I'm excited. Our show tonight is going to be a great topic about how have you survived or have you survived anything that you can tell the radio listeners that you can get through anything if you put your mind to it. So what I'm going to do today is talk about some issues that's going on in our life and how we can deal, how we can handle business and make it work for your betterment. Again, how can you survive the worst things of your life? How did you get through some difficulties? What made you be able to stand strong in spite of adversities of life? Many times storms will come, but you can get through it. So I'm going to ask you to call me here at the station. I'm here at one 835 5857 if you don't want to call in, feel free to text. You can text at 443-642-9403. Again, that's call in at 1-855-835-5857. That's extension 1. Make sure you put extension 1. Or feel free to text me at 443-642-9403. And let's talk about issues. Let's talk about some things that you have survived and you can be able to help someone out there in the radio listening audience that say, how can I get through some difficulties? How did you survive breakups or hurts or disappointments or your man cheating on you or just so many different things that we are confronted with or just everyday life call me at 1-855-835-5857 extension 1 or feel free to text me at 443-642-9403 let me just share with you some great things that are going on with Lady O. I have a cookbook that's coming out. You know I love to cook, love to prepare beautiful foods. While we're waiting for you to call in, it's going to be Kitchen Matchery from the Lady O Kitchen. That's going to be American Gourmet and Soul Food. If you love to eat, you want to want to pick up this book. It's coming soon to Barnes & Nobles, Amazon, and some other bookstores. You don't want to miss out. Pick up this book and let's make it happen. Also, let me talk a little bit about, since this is a hot topic, this hot topic about what Jamal said. <laughs> I'm going to talk about that tonight. So you can call in and we can talk about that. What are some issues that you are dealing with and we want to share with you on tonight and let you know you can make it through some difficulty. So listen, call in. I'm open for just whatever topics you want to share, whatever you want to talk about. I'm here to open up for discussion. What have you survived in your lifetime that you can help someone else get through the difficulties? How did you survive the hits of your life? How did you get through it? Call in one 835 5857 extension 1 or text me at 443-642-9403. Question for my radio listeners on tonight, what have you survived? How have you been able to go through certain things in your life and difficulties? How can you share with someone else that they can get through the storms or the situations? What is it that made you keep it all together because sometimes struggles and hits that come our way it is hard to keep it together so again how have you survived again I need you to call me at 1-855-835-5857 that's extension one okay somebody's trying to call me now and they need to know the extension I'm giving it to you hot off the press in the studio. 1-855-835-5857, extension 1. I'm going to text you now and let you know what that number is because we need someone to understand how have you been able to survive the worstest hits of your life and still be able to get back up and get it, make it happen. Can, uh, I, can I say something? Yeah, sure. Okay, well... 
I just recently applied for a grant to go back to school, and I didn't get the grant, and it hurt. And I think the, that was kind of one of the things was, like, I really went through something tragic. Well, it was tragic for me. And the way I got over it was just to keep moving forward. So you was able to keep forward with it, but in the meantime, when it first happened, it was hard for you to really deal with it. Yeah, I kind of, I mean, what, I'm the type of person where I like to get everybody's opinion on what I'm going through. So I just ask people, like, well, what, how do you feel about this? What should I do? Wow. So what you should do? What you say? Oh, well, you know, that's why you work here. You know, let me celebrate this question that just came aboard. He works here, so I feel privileged. So let's give him a hand clap, first of all. And that's amazing how you was able to deal with the hit or the hurt or the disappointment. It's not easy accepting something that you were depending on, and now you had to deal with it. That's just life in general. I know I took some hits the last couple of years, and it was really hard for me, an emotional place to be found. So what I've learned to understand is that you have to just take the hit and keep it moving. One of my old mothers would say, take a licking and keep on ticking. So I've taken some lickings. But anyway, we're excited because this show is geared around issues, situations, and it's hard to be said no, or something didn't work out. You, you'd be disappointed, you'd be hurt, but you can get through it. And you're here in the studio tonight, you will be all right. <laughs> but anyway, listen, I need you to call me, call in at extension one. You want a phone call? Okay, yes. Hello, this is Lady O. Hello, Lady O. This is Deborah Waddles of Island Beauty. Oh, wow. Congratulate. Thank you for calling me. This is my sister, my new sister as well, Radio listeners. Yes, Great. indeed. <laughs> Let me ask you a question because we will be interviewing you um, next week. Next Thursday you'll be on the air. But our show tonight is geared around situation. How is someone able to survive the worst hits of their life and how do they get through it? Or well, what have you been through that you survived that you can tell the radio listeners that they can get through it? All right, so that's the open discussion um, on tonight. Okay. Well, what I, what I would say is that no one's situation or life test is unique to them. Everybody mm -hmm. goes through something, and no matter what you are going through, someone is going through worse. Wow, I yes. mean, you name it, I've been through it. Uh, I, I, and I'm, I'm here to tell you, number one, get saved. Wow, yes, Take yes. Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Number two, believe him. When he says all things are possible, when he says, my peace I leave with you, have faith as the grain of a mustard seed. No matter what the world says, no matter what people say, you, you found that out. You go inside and you allow the spirit of Christ to take your life over, and he'll lead you through those valleys. Yeah. He'll lead you through those little potholes. He'll cover them over. Just listen to him speak to you, and you will look, and people will wonder. Your life will become an attest a testimony, and everything that comes out of your mouth will be a testimony. And then when you go through something else, you'll look back and say, whoa, that wasn't so bad. Now I'm facing this. Wow. But because I got through that, I know that I know that I know that I know that I, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. So let me ask you too, now with, we have a young man here that had called in or asked a question in the studio. He had just hit a, took a hit when he was told that he couldn't get the loan or something in regard to school. What words of advice that you can give him as a young man that's really trying to make things happen in his life. What can you share with him on tonight to encourage him along the way? I lost my husband. I had five children. I had. I was an excellent student in high school. Um, I did have two uh, years of college under my belt. 
and then I decided to get married and have a family. My husband passed. I looked at my kids. I said, I forgot to do something. Mm -hmm. I applied to Howard University. I was accepted in Howard University. There I found out it was a private school, so my Pell Grant only covered a certain amount. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in the financial aid office, and the Lord had put a ram in the bush. The lady said, I'm going to find you some money. The next thing I know, she went through these, this computer. She was hitting those keys, came up. Here's $10,000. And I wow. sat there, got my degree, and I would sit there. Every class you go to, you know, the professor, I guess they have a list of people that have not cleared the financial aid office, and they really can't speak to you unless you're in good standing. They would, He would stand there and call, go through the alphabet, call their names. He never once called my name because I was paid in full. Oh, that's Young awesome. men, do not give up. Keep your faith strong. If you believe, it shall come to pass. Don't yes. give up on yourself. And oh, you when hear God that? closes one, he opens another. Wow, what an awesome testimony. And you said that your husband passed away. Now, how did you cope with all that? That was an issue. How did you survive all of that? I mean, that's very interesting because someone that's listening out there that may be going through a similar situation that you already have experienced, what words of advice in that regard that you can give some good information or counsel? The departure from this life is never easy because we see it through the man's eye and what we train. We've been trained to mourn. We've been trained to grieve. But it's just the soul leaving, going back to the Father. We are on loan here temporarily. And everybody that crosses your path is for a reason. Now, if it's, if it's a husband, it's, it's really hard because this is the person that you've joined yourself to. But understand, when... The date, the Bible says our days are numbered as the hair in our head. There's nothing that can be done except making that person proud that they crossed your path because you're better. You're better. You're not stuck in mourning. You're not stuck in grieving. You understand that that person is at perfect peace. And it is your, it's your chance to pick, to take the baton. Remember the love. That will live on in your heart and in your mind and if their children involved. Keep that person alive in front of the children. But wow. you also have to show the children that this is what daddy would want. And you wow. go on. Wow. That's very interesting because my daughter lost her husband um, two years ago. And she really has been doing really well with taking care of the four children. She had four, and it's been overwhelming, though, too. But nevertheless, she keeps Christ first in her life, and that's what's been carrying her through. And I think you shared yeah. that earlier up, that the one number one thing you need to do is get saved and give your life to the Lord because he's your strength. He's your um, helper yes. from day to day. Yes. Yes. So I definitely want you to share that. more. Well, as, as far as uh, the death of a loved one? Yes. Life coping. is mm -hmm. coping. Coping. There is something called closure. Closure. There comes a time, I think the hardest thing is saying goodbye and meaning it and bringing that closure. Closure is what opens the door to the new life. God didn't bring us this far to leave us, even if he takes someone out of our life. It, it, it's, we get comfortable in our mindset, in our emotional set, and we don't want anything new, even if it is to benefit us. We're comfortable in whatever day-to-day uh, -day mindset we have. But if God says, I, I've given birth, I've given you new life, life in that you may have it more and more abundantly, that means you go on and on and on and on and on with new higher levels, with, with new ways of thinking, put yes. on a new mind. That is the hardest thing for us to do, but it can be done. It can be now, done. If, 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 yes. It can be done. Everybody, everybody has lost someone. Yes, yes. Everybody. 
you have but shared that doesn't tonight. Mean the you have shared tonight, and I appreciate you calling in on tonight. I'm excited about what great future that we have together, and what we will be connecting and doing some great things as well. I appreciate you. I tell you, Lady O, we are on the move here at BeExposedRadio.com. We're doing some great things. We're excited. We have an awesome producer. And you sharing tonight, letting us know that we can get through whatever when we put God first. When we allow him to be number one, he can take you through the valley. He can take you through anything, anything. And that's yes. what's so important. All he's doing is redirecting. All he's redirecting. doing is redirecting. Yes, yes. And you, that's a good word you just said, redirecting. Sometimes he redirect our life because it was never, all the things that we have really been through, it was never meant to kill us out, but it was to build up character in us and make us better. I believe that our experiences Strength. of life yes. can help someone else. Absolutely. Absolutely, I that. absolutely, that your joy may be full. We don't even know how or realize how happy we can be if we try to do it ourselves. Right. We don't absolutely. even know what really makes us happy. Wow, that's amazing. Now you make me think about that song. They just did a remix. It was a song that's like, well, first it was a kid's song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But now they did a remix. I'm happy. What's that new song out? I love it. I absolutely oh, love happy. it. Yes, I <laughs> love it. The roof. The roof. <laughs> about the roof. <laughs> so, so sometimes you have to make yourself happy and don't waddle in your disappointments, but use it as a stepping stone to get back up. You know, because many times life situations will come and knock you out, but you get back up. You don't have to lay down and waddle in it. Mm-mm. But you can get God up. God will send can... somebody to extend their hand. Yes. Once they extend their hand, reach it. Reach for it. Because we can't do this alone. Absolutely. We, and that's another thing. Accept the help. We cannot, we're not in this alone. We're not in this when alone. You, number one, you acknowledge it. Number two, you in, make up your mind you are ready to receive the help. And number three, receiving it and acting on it. Wow. And going forward, we are not in this alone. Wow, we're not in this alone. And that's important. And let's tell our radio listeners, no, you're not in this alone. You can get through and survive the worstest hits with the help of God. I give you a hand clap on tonight. Thank you for joining us on the air. And stay tuned. We appreciate you. you. Look forward to it. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. While we just was tuned in with a young lady that was really, her testimony was really powerful, how she's a widow, she survived the death of her husband, and how she survived, and she gave us some good pointers. She said, number one, you got to really give God your life and ask him to help you and to strengthen you. Again, if you was tuned in on tonight, what an awesome call. Listen, I need you to call in at one eight five five. 835-5857, that's extension 1, or feel free to text your question at 443-642-9403. We're waiting on you to call in again. How have you survived? What have you been going through that's been difficult in your life that you feel like it's you, you can't make it? Or you will not make it. But I'm here to let you know on tonight, you can make it. Your strength is only in what you believe that you can get through. Again, call me. So why don't you tell us about something that you went through? Let me tell you what I went through. I went through cancer. I battled cancer three years ago. And that was the roughest time of my life. I thought I was going to die. And... It felt like I was losing it, but in my conscious state of mind, I prayed because I didn't want to die. I wanted to be around to raise my children, to um, enjoy life, to help my grandkids. And only thing about my experience, let me just share that too, how I survived. Because I looked at my mother, I lost my mom at 12 years old. And that was an emotional place 
because being young, so I thought I was going to die young. But nevertheless, I survived it. And I'm a cancer survivor. And I believe that it's a mind over matter. Doctors can tell you that you're going to die or you only have six months to live. But I, I listened. But then again, I said in my mind, I will live. I will live. And I'm going to live. So that's how I survived some of the worstest things that came in my life. And then when my husband had cancer... Um, that was like six years ago and I survived that. That was the worst experience, you know, to feel like I was losing him. And my prayers is what got me through. It was my prayers, definitely, you know. And one thing about life, you have to understand, you will get through it. But there's some things you must got to go through to see your way out of it. Because everything is not going to be a, a peachy, dory, exciting. Everybody takes some kind of hit. I mean, it is what it is. But I know that you can get through it. So my question to the radio listeners on tonight, what again that you have dealt with and you overcome it and you're able to share or tell someone else or say, listen, you know what somebody's trying to call in but um never I'm not going to answer that because I'm um on my line see some people thinking that I gave the number out if you listen let me get that number out again so they won't text my phone listen if you want to call in listen follow the instructions the number is 855 835 5857 that's extension 1 or please text in if you have a question or a concern. You can give me a call, all right? So I'll listen to hear from you because I'm trying to give you the information and we're doing the best we can here in the studio. And they make it very easy to follow the instructions, all right? <laughs> Again, if you want to text me, um, feel free to text me at 443-642-9403 or you can call in at one 855 5857 That's extension 1. Again, extension 1. I got a text. Now, you know what? I don't have my glasses on. Don't make me laugh. What is the... Can you put it back? Okay, they keep hitting me on here. Okay, what's the text? Okay, great. You know what is bad? That's my issue about right now tonight. I didn't wear my contact lenses. <laughs> okay, so I have a text. I'm waiting. It's going to be up. But anyway, listen, you can survive anything if you put your mind to it. It's never meant to kill you out. It's to build character up in you. text message this is Tia I love your show oh wow let's give Tia a hand wow thank you so much and I love you too thank you Tia appreciate you wow that was great that make me feel good so at least the lady o show got a text saying I love your show well we love you too and we thank you and appreciate you for tuning in on the Lady O Show. We want to bring issues. We want to bring everyday things that are going on that you think you can't get through. Positive reinforcement to strengthen you, to let you know you can survive anything. I don't care what, how hard it is, God is able to get you through it and strengthen you, strengthen your character and build you up for the, you know, what you're going through. All right? Listen, I want to share with you something um, that's great that's going on. Again, my cookbook that's coming out, um, the Lady O cookbook out of Lady O's Kitchen. I love to cook. I love to prepare foods. I need you to pick up that book and um, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you want to make some dishes. I made some easy dishes in the book. Oh, we have a phone call. You are tuned into the Lady O Show. Hello? You are tuned into the Lady Hello, O Show. Hey. This is Leonardo Bustos. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about yourself? Terrific, terrific. I'm supposed to call in right now? Yes. 
Okay. Listening to your show, I, I really like it. It's, I like the message. Great, great job. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you calling in. The question was, or the topic for tonight is, how have you survived the worst hits of your life, and how can you give your the radio listeners that's listening out there some advice on how you can make it through? Oh, I was supposed to be calling in for the book review today, right now. Okay, the book review. Oh, my book about the the um, mm, my cookbook. No, how to attract women with humor, how to attract the opposite sex. Oh, how to attract the opposite sex. Oh, wow, that's heavy. <laughs> how to attract the opposite well, I sex. I hope I'm calling in at the right time. I was supposed to call in. I got it recorded here. Let's see. Um, this is the Sugar Shack, right? No, Ms. this is not the Sugar Shack. But nonetheless, listen, I may can help you. How can you attract the opposite sex? I guess oh, um, somebody help me out out there. <laughs> come on, where's come on, Amani? Come on over here. How to attract the opposite oh, I, I sex? I was supposed to call in. I got this message from Miss J. Supposed to call in right now. It's supposed to be a featured guest, but I must have the wrong number. You must have the wrong number. But nevertheless, I appreciate you for calling in. Okay. Thanks. Thank you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good evening. You caught me off guard. That was a good one. That show comes on 5 to 7, Sugar Shack. That comes on from 5 to 7. And the Lady O Show is from 8 from eight to 9, yes. But thank you anyway for tuning in and listening in. We appreciate you. Wow. But anyway, nevertheless, well, we may have a show about how to attract the opposite sex. It just threw me off. I've been married to my man for over 35 years. <laughs> but that was nice. That was nice. But anyway, we're back talking about something. Oh, you know what? We're going to take a break, and we'll come right back to you. All right. You're tuned into the Lady O Show. Give me a few minutes. We'll be right back at you. Thanks. <laughs> So, you know, I'm a dog, and I'm kind of new to this family, but I've noticed a trend. My humans do this thing where they go around and get all my toys and hide them in this basket, but it's always the same basket, and it's always the same place, and then they act so surprised when I find them, but I'm like, hello, that's where you put it last time. Humans are the worst at hide-and-go-seek. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. Drug, alcohol, and gambling addiction can be devastating for you and your loved ones. Don't let the disease of addiction ruin everything you have worked so hard for. If you or a loved one is suffering from a drug, alcohol, or gambling addiction, call now and get a free confidential consultation. Help is only a phone call away. Call 1-877-867-3063. That's 1-877-867-3063. Hi, I'm LeVar Burton, and I'm proud to be a book person. How do I choose a book? Sometimes it's the cover, sometimes it's the title. I guess I'm pretty visual. If a book's really impressing me and the writing is really good, I will peek and see what the last paragraph is. Because the endings of books should rock you. I am a book person. And if you're a book person, too, read to a child and spark a lifetime of ambition. Join me at bookpeopleunite.org because reading is fundamental. A public service announcement brought to you by Reading is Fundamental, Library of Congress, and the Ad Council. Green light. Hey, girl. School zone. I'm getting hungry. Car changing lanes. You want to meet me for pizza? Stop sign. Intersection clear. Yeah, street. Pizza sounds good. Ball in street? Girl in street! <gasps> it's hard to concentrate on two things at once, like texting and driving. Stop the text. Stop the wrecks. How will you stop texting and driving? Tell us at stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. So, Jacqueline. Yes, Mom? I wanted to talk to you about something and... Oh, wait. Hold on. I just got a text. Oh, there's another one. Wow. Busy, busy me. So, anyway... Oh, wait, Mom. I just got a message. My friends keep commenting on my comment. Oh, there's another one. So many comments on my comment. Oh, I can't wait to watch TV tonight. Playoffs! Hey, guys, check out my new video game. Wait, wait, Mom, what? Huh? What? Hold What'd on. you say? Wait a second, what? This weekend, unplug. 
Take your family to the forest. There's nothing in the world like experiencing nature firsthand. Trees, paths, bluebirds, streams. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. To find the forest nearest you, go to discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Oh, it can get real healthy here on the Lady O Show. So check out what happened last week. It's only that I substitute the seasoning oil. I use the Mrs. Dash. Mm -hmm. I use the garlic powder, mm -hmm. the garlic seasoning. So it's different things that you can change and still make your food taste really good. Mm -hmm. So I mean. So, what is one of your favorite dishes that you like to prepare now on on, on your new regimen? Well, listen. I, the other day, I made some asparagus soup, and it was absolutely delicious. Next. Oh, Nakes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like asparagus. So he don't like asparagus. So let me give you my second um, meal was the crab cakes. I did the crab cakes. Now, we, now you're talking. So Why wanted, did you say that one first? Go to the toilet. Asparagus. But the, yeah. Let me just share with the crab cakes. It had a, um, I did it with a Melva toast. Mm. I, um, That's the one you posted it. on Facebook. Right, I've seen exactly. That. Didn't it look pretty good? Mm. I can't even contain it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, continue. But anyway, I'm excited because the Melva Toast kind of like kept the crab cake all together, and it was delicious. Mm. Changing food preparation and putting in better ingredients, nutritional ingredients, herbs and spices, it changes your life forever. Mm. The Lady O Show is each and every Thursday at 8 p.m. live right here on BeExposedRadio.com. What's up, everybody? We got a special announcement coming right to you from BeExposedRadio.com. Hey, this is Sharon. I'm here to tell you about my show, The Sharon Nixon Show. What is your show going to be about? We're going to talk about fashion, life, designers, production, anything under the sun we'll talk about here. Including our listeners. We're going to have something special for them as well. Mm, prizes and stuff? Oh, prizes. Do you know who I am? I'm the queen of gift bags, okay? Oh, oh. <laughs> when will this show air? Every Tuesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And will there be guests? Oh, my God, guests. They're going to call in. They're going to be here. Oh, yeah, it's going to be guests. And what station again will this be on? BeExposedRadio.com. Again? BeExposedRadio.com. Will those police be here, too? Yeah, they'll be here. Because, okay. you know, I'm down here by the courthouse, so they got to... <laughs> You know, they got to police the <laughs> prisoners and stuff. How can your listeners get in contact with you? They can dial 855-835-5857. Don't forget to hit extension 1 or else you won't get in. Or you can text us at 443-642-9403. Only in the forest can you see this. <laughs> but nothing beats the moment you see that. Cool! That's your child's eyes opening up to a world of possibilities. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Learn about forests near you and discover cool things to do when you go. And you might just see this. Visit discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. tuned back on to the Lady O Show here in the studio. We're excited. Our issue to tonight was dealing with how do you survive the worstest hits of your life or life situations. And we had some awesome calls that came in. One young lady had experienced the loss of her husband and she had to raise her five children and she survived that and she encouraged us to let us know that you can get through anything you put your mind to as long as you have your strengths in God. I have a, a poem that I want to share with you if you're listening on tonight. All of our experiences changes in our lives. Changes is one constant in our lives. It is a constant struggle of life. There are changes that we look forward to, and there are changes of fear. However, one thing is for sure, things will not stay the same, no matter how much we would like them to. When life changes occur, we have two choices in how to respond. We can depend or go in despair with the change, or we can assume the worst. But the one thing about the possibilities of life, you can hold on and believe that you can survive the worstest hits of all of the experiences of your life. Just wanted to share that with you. Life can get better if you believe it. 
You have to make yourself happy. You can't wait for people to make you happy. You have to do it yourself. Again, I, I really want you to know that you'd be surprised what people are going through and how to start over. How do you start over after you've been hurt by someone that you loved or you cared for, or you appreciated? How do you really start over? I want to share something with you on tonight. One young lady had called me a couple of months ago, and I shared with her, and I want to share this with you. How do you start over? I'm trying to find something to base my life upon, something in this strange world that's going wrong. As the years go by and the time fades away, what used to be the good days are filled with dismay. As the years go by and time fades away, what used to be good days are filled with dismay. Tomorrow come and then and again it goes and becomes something more or worse in its growth. Life situations around the world, around our country, in our cities, in our states. How can we survive when there's so much killing? I was thinking about the lady that experienced the loss of, I think, four kids. It was some state. If I'm not mistaken, it was Chicago. Now, can you only imagine how did she survive? All four of her children was killed by different people. But this lady still is trying to hold on. And my heart go out to her. How does she survive? There's so many people that are going through so much. How do you survive when people betray you or mistrust or broken promises? How do you get through all of that? How do you survive? How did you get through the worstest things? Call me. Let me know. How did you make it through some of the worst things in your life? I need you to give me a call here at the studio. I'm going to give you that number again. You can call me in at 1-855-835-5857, extension 1, or you can feel free to text me at 443-642-9403. Again, we're talking about how can you survive the worst hits of your life. How do you get through the worst storms? What have you been through that you can tell someone else that they can make it? I don't care what it is. What can you tell someone in your lifetime that you know that it was only by the grace of God that you survived that hit? Because I know for myself, I went through an experience. We lost our mother when we were young. That was the worst thing in my life. We had to basically raise ourselves. And people said, I'm going to be there for you. Please, sometimes it's just a bunch of talk. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> but you can get through it. A lot of times people just say a lot of stuff, but they don't be there. You know, that's why I said, when I go to funerals or do funerals, I said, listen, don't make no broken promises you can't keep. People just do a bunch of talking. And I'm just one of those ones I don't have time for. It. it is what it is, and I keep it real. Transparency is the best thing to be when you're going through. And how can you tell somebody to survive something that you've never been through? I believe that the experience, some, no, let me go back. I think the best teacher is someone that have experienced something and then you can tell me how to survive something all right do you believe that you need to give lady o a hand clap on that one i know i strike that one <laughs> thank you anyway i appreciate that i i, I needed that one <laughs> because guess what i don't want to hear if you ain't never been through nothing and, and, and I'm telling the truth because people need to know how to survive. If you never had your lights off and you're eating in lights and I'm eating with lights, I'm in the dark, not by choice, but BG and E drove up in the truck, turned my lights off. How do I manage to survive that? Especially if you have children, people going through a lot. Okay, how can you tell me that 
you, you got a job, you're eating, and I'm, I don't have a job. How are you going to tell me how to survive something of that magnitude? Okay, easy said and done, okay? You got a lot of money in the bank. I'm broke as a skunk. How can I tell me to survive when I'm broke? I don't have no money. I'm empty. <laughs> Listen, you'd be surprised. People just say a lot. They talk a lot. But if you've never been through it, you can't really tell me how to get through it. But I need to talk to someone from experiences. How have I struggled with life, disappointments, this hurts, being lied on, being talked about, and how was I able to bounce back and take a licking and keep on ticking? How did I manage to, to do all of that and survive? Guess what? It was through the grace of God. Guess what? Because I probably would have... You know what, I don't curse, but I think, <laughs> you know what, I don't curse, but sometimes people make you want to say some stuff to them. Can I keep it real? Anybody out there feel the same way I feel? <laughs> but I got some people that will take up for me. Now, they will curse, <laughs> but guess what, I can't. Because guess what, I know where my help comes from, and I know how to survive the worst of storms of my life. Anyway, if you're listening out there, give me a call in and let me know how you have survived some of the worstest hits in your life. And what, what dialogue can you give someone that may be listening how to get through the worstest things in their life? The number is one 835 5857 That's extension 1. Or you can give me a text at 443-642-9403. All right. Listen, let me just share with you something um, that I heard on the radio about um, it was a lady that was at a um, funeral. She had just lost her son, and she was just broken, messed up to pieces. And the preacher had preached about um, the message, and she didn't like the message because the message was based on um, you get over it. Your son is dead and get over it. But how I think that to me personally was kind of rude because how you can say just get over it when your son's still living and you're telling this mother you just need to get over it. Things happen. I want to ask, how, how can you survive that if you've never been through it? I would have told him a thing or two. I would have gave him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Thank you. Please, how can you get over something like that when you, you, your son is laying up there, deceased, and the preacher going to preach it? So the mother was mad at the preacher and did not appreciate um, what he had said because you, you have to be careful how you talk at funerals because those people are already broken, already hurt. Their loved one is laying there. You have to be more compassionate, more sincere, to not be careful how you say certain things over the pulpit when you've never been there. If you never survived something like that, then you cannot speak on what you don't know. All right, I, I get another hand clap on that one. I know that was a good one. Listen up. I want to thank my um, radio listeners and my Facebook followers for your support to the Lady O Show. We're going to bring some good shows on the air. Um, we're excited. I have a young lady named Deborah um, Waller. She's going to be talking about um, some issues of life and situations that she's been through. I have some authors, some book writers that's going to be coming on the air, some filmmakers that's making movies out there. Her One young lady, her name is Miss Weaver. She just brought a movie out called Change, and it is off the chain. I want to give her, I want to actually give her a hand clap. Thank you so much. She's excited. Um, she asked me to come down to Ohio to actually feature um, that show, that play that's going to be kicking off. And I'm really thinking about getting on the road and actually supporting that on next week. So we got some great people that's going to be coming into the studio. We've had some wonderful people that have followed me through to make sure that we have good 
radio listeners out there that will, and if you have any shows that you would like to um, hear about, feel free, give me a text, call me, let me know you want to hear some new things on the air. I'm open for um, discussion to make it happen. You have any hot issues, hot topics, you want to rock out, let's make it happen. I talked about um, Jamal Bryan, the statement he made, these these whores not law. We can talk about that. <laughs> yeah, that was a good topic, and I mean, I, I heard a lot of people were ex- upset. Well, wh- why do you think they was upset? I don't know. Maybe they took the message of the preacher too seriously. Well, let me tell you what I did. I went back and listened to the actual message, and it wasn't really as bad as it, what they made it claim to be. Seriously, I think people need to go back and listen to the message because it wasn't even though well, I didn't listen to it so what was the message the message was dealing with women how men need to listen to their women more better they need to not all the time because a lot of times men get in trouble because of their egoistical um, personality their ego and they don't want to listen to their women so he was more or less talking about men listen to your women and a lot of things you will not have to go through that's basically what it was but then when he threw in that these whores not loyal that was did it I think everybody really went off the t- t- chain because it's been the hot topic the last week or so so what do you think oh no well, I'm I telling say, you, get married and be faithful. Absolutely, because a lot of people have said because he was unfaithful to his wife, what, did that mean that they were talking about just women whores or just strictly whores? It's just a plural. That is right. It's not singular. So it's really talking about with the s every anybody because a man can be a whore and a woman is a whore. <laughs> Let me get off of this. How you do? <laughs> How do you deal with that? Oh, my God. <laughs> so many bad words, so little time. Well, I guess it's not a bad word. I guess it's all about how you use it. I don't know. I think how we use it in content in the church, because a lot of people said he shouldn't have said it over the pulpit. I mean. That's how I feel. I feel like, eh, you shouldn't have said it over the pulpit, too. So you think, that, I mean, why? Because I think if you really listen to the message, when you get an opportunity, and I challenge everyone out there in the radio land as you're listening or tuned in, listen to the message first. Because I'm telling you, when I went back to listen, I think after Monty, my producer had said a little question out there about the word, and I listened. I went back. I really enjoyed this, um, the, his dialogue. It was awesome. So I think we need to listen a little bit more, and then I think the people won't be so critical of his message because they really tried to kill him out. And the bottom line is I think that we as a people, we get caught up in the wording of it. But he was really talking about men really listen to your women or you will not get caught up in all of this stuff. Do you think it's hard for men to listen to women? You a man, young man. Um, Are you dating? I am. Is it hard for me to listen to my friend? Uh, no. Even though she says I don't listen to her, but I know I do. So you do listen? I do listen. Okay. Maybe it's just hard to communicate sometimes. Well, re- in relationship, it's hard. Anyway, when you're dating, you're trying to date, it's hard because sometimes men are headstrong. I can tell you about that. We need to have a topic on headstrong men. Like the night when I was coming here to the radio station, my husband went all the way around the barnyard. He didn't even come 83. I said, now, if you would have listened, we, the traffic was not as bad coming the other way. We ended up, it took us 15 minutes more timing because he would not listen to me. But, Pastor, I love you. <laughs> Let me give him a hand clap because I know he may be listening on his phone. I don't want to get in trouble when I get out of the studio. Mm. (laughs) But anyway, men is hard to listen. They don't want to listen. But my whole thing is I don't understand why people get married and still cheat. You know what? 
that's a question that I don't understand. I really think that if you're going to cheat, you need to stay single. Yeah, exactly. I really, now that's a hot topic. I would, I would like to rock <laughs> that out next Thursday. Because if you're going to cheat, and you know what, my topic tonight, how does this survive? How do people survive after a person that you love, you've given your life to, you have given years to, cheat on you? Mm. How do you survive that? And do a lot of people, when they do cheat, is it any faithful people out here? You know, because that's something, that's a good thing you just shared. Because I'm wondering, how do you deal with, how do you survive after someone like cheated on you? And then you found out that he was sleeping with like four oh. other people. And it's like, whoa. That hurt. That hurt. It does. That I've been cheating on that is a heavy topic. That should be a hot, rocking topic next Thursday. How do you survive someone that have cheated on you? And what do you do? Where do you go? Who do you deal with? What, the one about people that have children involved, and oh, you yeah. believed in this person, and this person cheat on you. That's devastating. Yeah. It's, it's something to think about. How do you get over it? Me, personally, I think it's one of those things where you kind of just, whenever I go through something like that, because every relationship I've been in, I ended up getting cheated on for some stupid reason, but I'm a good person. Wow. So, whenever it happened to me, I would kind of just move on. So, like, but is it easy to move on? I mean... Sometimes it's not. Because when if you put your, because it's soul ties, you you have had a relationship. So how is it, it's not easy just to walk away from no, someone. It's not. it's not. One, what I like to do, even if I do get cheated on, I like to, I don't like the, you know how when people end a relationship and they end up hating each other. I like to still be friends. And through that process, I'll ask them like, well, why? Why'd you do it? I'm not angry with you. Is it something that I did wrong? Is it something that I could have did better so I can grow? So you grow from relationships. Yeah. When, so that's a good observation. A lot of times when people are cheated on, you can grow from experience because you'll never open up. But sometimes when people are cheated on, it's hard to get back into relationships yeah. because you feel like it's a lack of trust. I mm -hmm. don't can't trust that person. I will never trust anyone. But sometimes you make a big mistake because sometimes that person could be the person that really is honorable but you because you've been cheated on you won't give that person a chance because yeah. I've heard a lot of people said that that they said I'm afraid to date I'm afraid to open up because I'm afraid that it's gonna happen to me again but then my whole thing with that is what's the point of being scared or afraid are you just gonna run away from relationships your whole life well a lot of people run away from life I mean I'm dating and everything. I mean, because they're afraid to really open up. And they miss where this person could be the golden nugget mm -hmm. to their life. But because of past cheating, yeah. past failures, mm -hmm. past relationships, they won't give an opportunity to it. It's two types of people in this world to me. It's people who, well, everybody judges people, but it's people who say, you're guilty until proven innocent, mm -hmm. and then there's people who say you're innocent until proven, proven guilty. guilty. Mm -hmm. So me, I'm more of the you're innocent until proven guilty. If I don't have a reason to not trust you, then I'm not going to hold you accountable for something that somebody else did in the past, because that's not fair. Easy said than done. Sure. That's a good, you're, right, you're saying that, but somebody else don't feel that same way you feel yeah. until proven guilty or whatever because again if you ever been cheated on it's devastating it is it is not it's like you can't eat you mm -hmm. can't do anything because you're always thinking about that person and right like, why, because you why? trusted that person and only through to me personally because back to jamal bryan um he cheated on his wife, and a lot of people hold him against that. But I think people change, too. You can't hold people up mm -hmm. imprisonment because of what their past failures, because we've all fallen short. We've yeah. all done things that was not pleasing. Mm -hmm. But we have to forgive and get over it and let it go and keep it moving, or you'll never be able to have a strong relationship if you hold on to the things of the past. Is that true? Do you agree? Yeah. 
Do my radio listeners agree? Give me a hand clap. That's Lady O giving her opinion about dating. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> because you'll never know what life has to offer you if you think everybody is that a way. Yep. Because a lot of people have missed good relationships because they think everybody is doing the cheating or mm -hmm. nobody is honorable, nobody is faithful to the one person, you know, or anything. So a lot of people miss out on great opportunities of relationships. Yep. And, I mean, God is able to heal you from people that have cheated on you, and you can get over it and move on so you can have a healthy relationship. Listen, you have been tuned in to the Lady O Show. The topic for discussion tonight was how have you survived some of the worstest hits in your life? I want to leave you this little token. Um, listen. If you've been through some storms or life situations, I do know God is the one able to help you, to assist you, to get you through it by the help of God. Listen, you're not in this thing alone. You can make it. Again, the Lady O Show. Tune in next week. We have a beautiful young lady. Her name is Deborah Waller. She'll be in the studio talking about hair care, how to better take care of yourself, how to be healthy, how to take proper care of getting the better hair for you. So a lot of people don't like to talk about this, but we're going to talk about health issues, how to take care of the overall total body, women. All right, so tune in. Again, we are finished. We'll be back on next Thursday. Same time, same station. The Lady O Show. Be exposed. Radio.com. I had a senior moment. Thank you. <laughs>